So a parapet wall is part of that structural design of the building. It used to be that as long as your parapet wall had a height of 30 inches and a maximum of 18 to give you 48, you could do that. Or it could be 36 and 12 or 35 and 13. Now, OSHA is requiring a height of a nominal of 42 inches, plus or minus three inches is the, the allowance they give. So that nominal height of 42 inches now is the standard. You cannot count the width of the wall anymore in your measurement for your parapet wall for safety. As long as that parapet wall reaches a nominal height of 42 inches, then that will count as your fall protection and you don't have to wear the harness or you don't have to have a tie off um, anchor and you don't have to have a warning line if your parapet wall reaches that nominal height of 42 inches. So if you have a parapet wall and the height is only 30 inches, you're not tall enough to meet that nominal of 42. Then you have a few different options. You can have a six foot warning line, which is set back six feet from the edge of the wall. And it has to be flags, rope, marking that area to give you that warning line. If you're gonna work beyond that, then you have to either have fall protection in place or you can work with a safety monitor as long as that area is marked off in a 50 by 50 foot area. You can't just have a, a huge area and have the safety monitor walking along. Now the safety monitor cannot have any tools in his hand, can't be carrying any equipment. We typically have our safety monitor wear a different colored vest so that they stand out. The policy for our company is we have one safety monitor to two workers and that safety monitor doesn't do anything except watch those two employees work. They have to be within shouting distance and they have to be eyesight. And so, but again, that falls in that 50 by 50 area to work in.